I'm sitting here in a hotel room in Atlanta, Georgia with Bella. We came here for a dog show. It was a significant event in Bella's life because at just two years old, it's not her first dog show by any means, but it was the first time that she flew to a dog show. And she did very well, actually. We don't really have very much difficulty traveling with our dogs, um, and she did extremely well on the plane. So I thought I would share our experience with you and give you a few tips as to what to be prepared for if and when you travel with your pet. Here's Bella with me in the terminal in LaGuardia Airport in New York. And before we got to our gate, I decided I needed some breakfast. Uh, fortunately, there was a Starbucks nearby, so I was able to find some sustenance for myself. And Bella wanted to have some, but uh, she was actually a very good girl. While I was having my snack, she was busy meeting other people who tickled her and made her feel really good. So she was such a good girl sitting there, lying there, waiting for me to finish my coffee. And finally, we got to take off through the terminal and find our way to the gate, which, by the way, was not very easy. There must have been three or four gate changes that were announced. And finally, we found the correct gate so I could get Bella ready to go. Now... Time to get into your carrier. You want to go into the carrier? Come on. If you want to take your dog with you in the cabin of the plane, you'll have to get a pet carrier, one that would be rated for airline use. Uh, there are size restrictions. There are also weight restrictions usually. Uh, generally speaking, if the dog and carrier together weigh less than 25 pounds, you'll probably be fine with pretty much every airline. You will pay a fee. The fee for each airline ranges from maybe $100 to $150 each way. And that's kind of frustrating because sometimes I'm paying more to put the dog under the seat than I am to put myself in a seat. I would recommend that before you leave on your trip, you practice putting the dog into the carrier. Most dogs don't like it at first, but they do adjust very quickly, and you'll find that once you've practiced a few times, they can stay in that carrier quite comfortably, and they stay quietly. And when you put them under the seat, they will usually be quite good throughout the entire flight. I also like to get the dog out of the carrier as soon as we land, so she's walking through the Atlanta airport now. Some terminals are a little particular about this, so if you find that uh, personnel from the airport ask you to put the dog back into the kennel, the smart thing to do is simply to comply with them and put the dog back in. We got to the baggage claim, and as usual, we traveled faster than our bags did, so we had to wait a few minutes. Again, Bella was quite good and quite patient, so we finally were able to make our way out to the pickup area for ride shares. We found a nice Uber and the uh, very capable driver took us through the city of Atlanta as Bella rested on my lap and the inevitable Atlanta traffic rolled by. Now, I did, before we got in the car, ask the driver if he minded the dog being loose on my lap. Some drivers will want them in the carrier, in which case I do it. But this driver said it was fine to have her on my lap, and as you can see, she rested quite comfortably there. After we checked into the hotel, which was a dog-friendly hotel, of course, for a dog show, I immediately took Bella out because after that long plane ride, well, not that long, but after a day of traveling, she needed to go out and take care of her needs. These hotels will generally have an area that's designated for pet relief. This one is no exception. It's not huge, but it had everything we needed, everything the boys needed. And I always make sure that I pick up whatever my dog leaves 
and I dispose of it properly. We want these hotels to continue taking dogs, and that is necessary in order for that to happen. And once that walk was taken care of, we made our way back into the hotel. I was able to give her water, feed her, and relax a little bit before we had to go to bed and get ready for the next day. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Bella, I don't know that she actually enjoyed the whole experience, but she did very, very well. And um, I'm sure she'll enjoy the dog show because she gets to be with a whole bunch of other Cavaliers. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, and we will see you again soon.